Hey guys, good morning. Pat Simone here. Today we are installing gas shield. Okay, um, you know it's the flexible gas pipe, and uh, I'll get a couple shots in <clears throat> how you, uh, you know, how you use the tool given to strip the ends. Okay, and um, how to install the fittings that are uh, meant to be with the system. All right, <clears throat> so. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple shots in. I gotta run a 50 foot length because we're relocating the laundry room on a house I built last year. You know, get your certification. Uh, you do it online. Um, you know, uh, they give you a number with it. So every time you purchase it, they know where it is because if not installed properly, it can be a dangerous item uh, with lightning strikes and whatnot. So uh, I'll see you on the job site, guys. I prefabricated my uh, horizontal drop out of black pipe before I connect to the flash shield. Okay, so just make sure you rough it in proper. You know, you put your drip blade for sediment and condensation. Put your right shut off. All right, you're going to need a coupling on top to connect your uh, flash shield um, fitting. All right. So the tools needed to do the job you buy them is there's a special cutter for the flash shield okay because it's a two-part um, coating one's a rubber and then one's a mesh stainless steel and this is the reason why with this particular brand you don't need to uh, bond it to your house okay even though I take the extra precaution and my electrician uh, did the proper bonding throughout okay because this is where this stuff gets dangerous now this is the only company I know of, I could be wrong, that you don't need to bond the system, but um, every other company I dealt with, you had to bond it to either your water meter, uh, to the, um, from the water meter to your uh, gas meter, or from this to your panel, okay? There's a couple ways to do it. I'm not really going to get too technical with that because of liability reasons. Um, you should talk to your local uh, electrician. Um, if somebody put this in your house recently or it's in your house, make sure um, your system is bonded uh, because it's acceptable to lightning strikes, okay? All right, guys. All right, guys. So this is the uh, cutter that comes with the system. You know, they say it has the right wheels to keep this in line with the way you have to cut it. So, the inside this pipe, it's corrugated stainless steel. So, with the wheel, you want to try to find the rib of the stainless steel. You don't want to go hard. You want to do um, less force, more reps. Okay? So, there you go. I'm sticking the wheel in the middle of the corrugation there. You can see it. It's going to be hard to see on film, but... So you start with your reps, okay? Just lightly, don't brush the pipe, because now you're gonna start going through the stainless steel web, okay? So, give it a little jiggle, okay? There's a reamer attached to the tool, just lean it out. Get all the, uh, get all the crumbs out of there, okay? Now, on your uh, one side, start with the one, all right? You open the case up, okay? And there's a little bumper in there, so you bump the pipe. Hold it firmly. Couple rotations, and you'll see it closing by itself. Got me? Alright, and then you pull this off. Okay? Now, see the two part piece? That, this part is why you don't have to bond it, because it's metal to metal through the whole system, okay? Then you take your part two. Just a shallow. Rotate it. Okay. And 
guys, you know, the idea here is to give it a nice pull away, all right? So now let me give you a shot what it's supposed to look like. See how you see the two parts? Okay. All right, guys, so this is how the nut comes, okay? So you take it apart. All right, just watch, you know, there's two rings in here. Watch you don't dump them on the ground. Try to keep them as clean as possible. Okay, you just pull, pull the whole cylinder out. Okay, put this down. Now, you want to put this piece on the pipe first. Okay? Dope it up. What am I, baking a cake? I got a little finicky with this, guys. Cross-thread it through. You know. No leaks. You know what I mean? Alright, and then this will just go on your coupling piece like this. You know, and this is a male end, guys. They, they sell uh, female, too. So, um, this is what I had. This is what I'm using. It comes like this. You got, just got to give it a little force, and it'll come apart. They do it so you can't lose them, okay? And then you take your nut, right? So, now you put your nut on first. All right? Then you take your two pieces and see how it corrugates up, you know, flares up. That goes upside on the pipe. So you take your two halves, put one half on, you put the other half on, okay? Like so. Make sure it's sitting right, okay? Just like that. And then you keep only one corrugation out because then when it clamps down, it presses and that's what makes the connect connection. So now you take your pipe, you insert it in snugly so it's sitting nice, okay? Take your knife, nut, turn it on, alright, make sure this is it. So what you want to do is, when you're tightening this, make sure this one uh, doesn't move and you're only spinning the top nut because you don't want that corrugation to spin, you just want it to seat correctly you know what I mean so that's that all right guys so um, this is what the hookup looks like we're all clamped up okay and even though flash shield says you don't have to bond it with this particular system we still did all the correct procedures um, just for double safety because where this stuff gets dangerous um, see how there's a clamp on the gas and then that, from there, it goes to the water meter. And then from the water meter back, it actually goes to our uh, electrical panel, okay? So there's a couple different ways how to bond these systems. I don't want to get into it. Um, but uh, if you have this stuff in your house, uh, just make sure that you're bonded properly with the right size gauge wire, so on and so forth. So this video is also an awareness because uh, there's been many of uh, lightning strikes and a lot of houses had some issues. So uh, just make sure you take the right steps. All right guys, so uh, we're all fired up. Remember, when making connections, make sure you shut off your gas. All right, in my case, I was set up with a uh, with the shut off. So just make sure your sweeps are nice, nice long bends. You know what I mean. Don't uh, don't go, don't go too crazy. Uh, kinking them. You know. Just make sure they're nice long sweeps. So after you're done, just take your your soapy solution. Mine is uh, dish detergent. Spray it around. Make sure you got no leaky leaks. All right. And now what you want to do is the line you put in, you got to purge it because it's air bound. You know, so just crack it. All right, there you go. Smell it. 
Now you really gotta check it, you know what I mean? Spray the hell out of your fittings. The best way to do this is to really have an air test on it, but uh, no, not everybody has that kind of time. So, gotta check it, make sure we're all good. Okay. Spray, spray the actual uh, shut off. Make sure you're not you're not uh, the shut off ain't leaking. Spray this again. Spray it real good, cause you'll you'll see it start blowing if uh, if you got a leak, you know. So. You know, and I leave it on, get these guys real good. Okay. I'll leave it on there and I'll, uh, I'll come back and check. But guys, once again, when you do this, just make sure you're safe. You know, with this bonding, if you have it in your house already. Just uh, normally, normally the yellow coated jacket ones are the ones you have to be precautious about, about being bonded. Um, but if, if you have any of this stuff in your house, just make sure it's bonded properly, you know. And really, you know, even though we, we get our certification for this stuff, guys, um, you know, the, the, the best way to do this is call your electrician. Because um, most, most plumbers, I don't even do this, you know, bond it. So, um, you know, that's when this stuff gets dangerous. If it's installed properly, you're fine. So, um, that's it. I'll get once, once the air clears out of the room, I'll fire this bad boy back up. And that's it, guys. It's a wrap. See you on the next one.